Hey y'all, so I'm gonna be making some broccoli soup and some pork chops, so let's get started. Okay, so I was gonna make something else with this broccoli, but I didn't get to that. So we are going to cut this broccoli up. Whoops, I just dropped some. Okay, so we're gonna cut this broccoli up. Um, kind of in small pieces and when it boils down I'm going to kind of like chop it up like mashed potatoes to make it kind of like a puree type thing um to make some good old broccoli soup I want to make make it with Velveeta I'm adding some seasonings to it and some onions like fresh onions And if you hear something in the background, that's Oopsie's eating over here. I literally just got off of work. Um, and so, I'm making this. Down. Oh, that's crazy. Hang on. Katie, my bad. It's all right. Hang on, they're watching fireworks. Sorry, that I was talking to Katie. Okay, so there's some kids up the road here shooting off fireworks, and I'm making all this stuff here. Where's Griffin at? Why? Wow. Hang on, y'all. I was talking to my oldest. So no, <laughs> no, thank you, sis. <laughs> Katie don't like getting in the videos, so there's people's like, why ain't she ever in the videos? It's because my daughter don't like getting in the videos, so that's why, right, sis? Yeah. <laughs> but it's all good. I respect that. Okay, so <clears throat> we are pouring this in here. Hey, girl, uh, Katie, chain her up, sis. <coughs> So, I got Justice and Palin Bojangles. <coughs> Isaiah's at a friend's house, and then Gracie's at a friend's house. Katie's here. She, her and her boyfriend went to eat at um, Wasabi's. So, I'm just cooking what I have here, and I got them something to eat. So, I'm just eating this. Now, I'm bringing the leftovers that I have for work. And then whatever I have left, they can eat tomorrow while I'm at work. So, I work from 6.30. I work 6.30 to um, 4.45 every day. And there's people asking me, what do I do? I am a laborer. I'm a journeyman. Journeyman. And that's what I do. It varies. I could be out on the field working in like asbestos, beryllium. Or... You could be doing what I do, and I clean, like, buildings and stuff. Um, but either way, we're still dealing so, with yeah, that. that's what I do. And I do work the nursing home part-time. And this broccoli, my friends, is going everywhere. Oh, my word, y'all. So... I've been dieting pretty good, doing pretty good this week, and the snack guy, every so often he comes, right, and he gets rid of, like, the stuff that's getting close to expiring, or it's expiring, or it's already expired, rather, and my friend Judy's like, hey, you want these gummies? I'm like, no. You sure? I'm like, well, okay, I guess. So, in my intentions, I was going to only eat, like, one of them. Or, like, one serving, which was, like, eight. Guess what, y'all? I ate the whole freaking entire serving, which was 200 calories. And then, not only that, I end up eating 
a third of a Debbie cake that she had left over, which was a oatmeal pie, which was my papa's favorite thing in the whole wide world. Um, so yeah, mama. Oh, and then I ate one Twizzler. I ate these pita bread chips for lunch and it didn't do me over. So I was kind of like, oh my gosh, I ate too much of those. So that wasn't good. For breakfast, I had, um, my eyes are burning. Beef jerkies from the Yugo. So I guess all in all, I didn't do, like, I didn't do too bad, but like considering the um, gummy things, which was 200, I ate them all. We were so freaking bored this evening so we were eating the whole time so she's like i'm gonna not even be dieting anymore i'm just gonna come in here and say i'm not dieting and that way maybe we won't eat too much i'm like dude yeah i get you boo now we're doing some onions opal's squeaking her pig from Timo. if y'all hear that she's excited but today was not productive in my weight loss journey, but it's okay. Okay, so now we have that. This is going in the garbage. Ooh, those onions are stout, y'all. We're gonna add some salt. pepper quite a bit quite a bit of garlic powder because I love me some garlic y'all and then a tad of onion powder and I think I'm going to add a thing of um, chicken broth in here and a little bit of water. I've never had chicken broth in my broccoli and cheese soup, so I'm gonna try that. So, I'm gonna add this. I just think this might make it a little bit better. Add about two of these, or maybe, well, yeah, two. I have kids watching me while I film y'all, so bear with me. Huh? Yeah, Griffin's the youngest. Katie's the oldest. I'm going to do about three of these. Then I'm going to boil it on low for a while and I'll get back with you in a little bit. Okay, y'all. So this is boiled long enough. I had to turn it down. So I'm going to add the milk and the cheese okay, to it. So I have some pork chops here. I'm going to do bacon. But I may have to do like two different dishes of this because they're kind of big. They're like that big. Maybe not. Y'all, I am multitasking. So we're gonna use some of this uh, spare spare rib rub by Larry the Cable Guy. I got this from um, this like kind of like Save a Lot, but not Save a Lot, and I can't remember what it used to be called. Uh, but I got it back in the day. Well, not that long ago, but y'all get my drift.
we're going to use some chopped onions. We're going to use some garlic powder. But I don't want to add any salt. I was going to, but I'm not. Some onion powder. And we love garlic here in this house, so. So I'm gonna put these in there and bake them for a while and I'll get back with you guys. Also, we're gonna add some of this whole milk. It's by the Modern Pantry from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna add some of that. Actually, all of it. So I want this kind of soupy because I'm going to take some of it tomorrow to work. Two little small cubes of Alveda cheese. I may have to add more, but it's these uh, Velveeta fresh packs. So I'm going to see how much this makes it. And then if I need more cheese, I'll go from there. And I did add a little bit of flour in here to make it... Uh, thicker. I have this um, queso blanco dip. I'm gonna, there's like a half a thing in here. I'm gonna pour that in there because what I put in here is not cheesy enough. So that's what we're so gonna do. It's finished and it tastes amazing. So I'm gonna cut this off and <clears throat> wait till the pork chops get done. and take care of Myra. I watched half of it yesterday and then I'm starting on the rest. This is like so devastating. If y'all haven't watched this, check it out. It's on Netflix. She's so nosy. What you doing, girl? Oopsies. Are you nosy? <laughs> She's so nosy. Here's the pork chop, and I've got some mayonnaise and mustard mixed in together, and that's going to be my dip. I am top. super tired. It's like 9.30. Whew. I washed the dishes as I went, like as I cooked, so whew, I don't have that many left to wash, and I'm just exhausted. Pork chops are really good. I'm just so sleepy. But with these spices on it and everything, makes the pork chops the pork chops have a good taste. I normally don't get these like big thick pork chops, but they was on sale. And so I thought, why not? These will probably be better like grilled, but I don't have a grill. So I baked them. And that tastes pretty good. Okay. 
Hang on, I need to get something to drink. Got some grape Powerade. These are good. I'm really glad I didn't put salt on here because the season that I put on here already has salt on it. <clears throat> I'm getting kind of like a Minus the mustard and mayonnaise, like if you just eat it. With that Larry the Cable Guy seasoning. I kind of get like a Italian. The seasoning kind of reminds me of like turkey and dressing in some odd way. But it's good. It's really good. This is a lot of meat. There's no way I'm going to eat all this. Because I ate a big old bowl of soup. That broccoli soup. I'm so tired. I'm ready for bed. <sighs> I got to go in here and get a shower. And... By the time I get all this squared away, oh, look at the flower. Oh, it went away. But the flower is the one that I found at the lake. It's that, um, like, what was the name of it? It's like the reminder of the crucifixion of Jesus. Um, someone had sent me a thing on Facebook and was like, that was a rare flower. And I had never seen it before there. And I happened to run up, run across it like two weeks ago. It's a real pretty flower. Um, I think I shared it on my vlog here and then on Facebook and Instagram. But what I didn't realize is it loads on my watch. And I didn't, like, I didn't even realize that until I seen the flower. These uh, pork chops are really good. Hang on, guys. I'm getting a, a beat That was here. my sister-in-law, y'all. I'm going to take a couple more bites of this and then I'm going to bed. I'm so tired. I got to get a shower and everything. So. Anyways, hope everybody's doing good and This is what I get trying to walk, like, squeezing a video tonight. But this is real life, y'all. Have all my di my dishes washed, but a few. So I do that. Got a sweep. Put these pork chops up. Put the soup up, and get my shower, and I'm going to bed. So here it is. 9.51. Bye, guys.